boom what's up what's up thanks for coming back through i've been lacking on my uh, outlet finds lately i love outlets at christmas time there's not a lot in an outlet and some brands some stores will actually produce things specifically for the outlet so you're not really catching good sales um, i can name a few that do that your h m's your gaps even under armor uh uses their outlet stores as regular retail outlets or excuse me regular retail stores so a lot of the good stuff is not on sale reebok however does not do that reebok you can catch some legit sales you know from classics to iversons all types of stuff that you can find i was just perusing the outlet went to the adidas outlet that's another one that's very disappointing now um adidas outlets aren't sending any of the good stuff to their outlets once in a while anyway reebok was coming through with it okay i had been wanting a float ride for a long time to try out could not find the float ride at least their top of the line float ride so i'm perusing i'm just about done and i come across the float zig the float zig is on point I was super surprised. So Reebok is pretty unimaginative with their designs. Even the Float Ride, the Float Zig, the Zig Tech, all of their running shoes still look like the classic nylon and classic leather runners. Same shape. Reebok, can we talk? Come here. We need better designs. We need designs that go back like the Insta Pump Fury, baby. You were on top of the world at this point. Come on. Like we always do, let's go upper midsole, outsole. There's a lot of good stuff about this shoe, and I just barely gave it a chance. I'm glad I did. But uh, you don't really look at Reebok for some of their higher-end runners. They're not really given the same chance that others are. And that's mainly a branding thing because all of these brands have good tech. Most of the tech is coming from the same places. They're just renaming it and rebranding it for their own. But the truth is all the tech is still there. So let's get into it. As I said, the upper, just your classic Reebok shape, it looks exactly like they're runners from way back in the 80s and 90s. I get the nostalgia. I get that it's kind of a brand look, but they're pushing it a bit far here. Um, it's got some interesting tech in it, but we don't have anything that's groundbreaking or, or changing over the years. And I think that's most people's problem with Reebok is it just got a bit boring. They didn't keep up with innovation in style. They may have all the tech, but the styling didn't change. But... That being said, it works for this shoe. Um, I really do like the look. I like the fit. Uh, it's got your classic mesh, not even really a super engineered mesh. It's just a classic mesh. These overlays are actually 3M. So they do shine and gleam in the light. Fusing on the upper, it's really a no-so upper until you get right there. Just a tad bit of stitching underneath uh, to get some of those parts to marry across the top of the foot. But other than that, the whole thing is fused. Now, I chose this uh, triple black colorway because it was the dopest they had in store. They had another colorway that was kind of horrid. The women's is all white, and it is phenomenal. If I could have chosen the all-white women's pair, trust it would have been. As a matter of fact, no. Because it would have to be like a size 14 women's for me to wear. <laughs> anyway. Your tongue, classic construction. Nothing tricky there. A little stiff at the shin. I'm sure that will calm down a bit as I wear them more. But one of the beautiful things about it, you can already tell. Are you saying it with me already? Gusseted gusseted tongue it is actually married to a longer piece right around here where um, it's breathable it's supportive and it does not move love that it does not move again your mesh continues from the toe all the way through the tongue unsurprising 
classic, unsurprising. Could be good, could be bad on both ends of that. Just it's just Reebok. It's just Reebok. Padded collar. Again, more classic shape. Nothing tricky there. Very traditional. This is going to go toward the use case. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But some of that classic shape is actually welcome in the gym. We'll talk about it. Insole is a, an ortholot insole. You know I love that. Um, it's same as, well, it's similar to the Nike uh, ortholites that I love with Nike running. This is a green ortholite. Nike is usually blue. Can't go wrong with that. That's good. That was a surprise, and I like that. The midsole is float. They're float tech. They're float foam. Um, float is just boost. Um, there's no other way to say it, folks. Float is boost. Now, I know in years past, you know, the formulation might be just a tad bit tweaked. It might even just be the size of the pellets that get fused together. But... As shoes get developed, they're developed in line five, six years ahead of time before the retail market actually sees it. So these innovations have been moving. This shoe overlaps with a time when Adidas owned Reebok. And Adidas was infusing a lot of boost into the former classic silhouettes of Reebok. As I said, classic silhouette. So the Instapump Fury got a boost over uh, overhaul. The classic Reebok Runner got a boost overhaul. Float is very, very similar to boost. And the reason I say that, the feel is exact. Not even just the formulation. The feel is exactly like an Ultra Boost 5x if i'm being quite honest this feels like light boost this feels like in you know their innovation lab this feels like in the development float was going to always become light boost and that that feeling that this has is exactly this if you like an ultra boost 5 5x you're gonna love the float zig so the float foam is good zig tech has gone through some iterations and it used to be that you were actually riding on a sine wave all the way to the front early 2000 zig tech was wild it's a lot more chunky a lot more cubed out and what it's actually doing is a couple of things it's severe weight reduction you're cutting out large chunks of the shoe but still getting the same support because of how a sine wave is built. Now you see it's not as drastic as before, but what it is providing is a weight reduction and it's providing flexibility. This flexes better than the Ultra Boost, even though the feel is the same. Because of those cutouts, the flexibility of the midsole, it's not as stiff. It's being held together by the tread on the bottom it's being held together by the shoe on top but you've got a little bit of transition in that movement not so drastic that you can feel it and it's uncomfortable or it's weird again if you like the ultra boost you're gonna love this shoe and the price I'll get to the price in a second the outsole is just classic rubber in this sort of uh, broken herringbone pattern it's really, really good. It's, uh, you know, not the stickiest, but it's a good rubber that can hold up in a gym, hold up on concrete, hold up on any kind of athletic surface. Um, textured, knobby. You can kind of see how it's it doesn't have a lot of curve on the last. It's straight down the middle. Get in there tight. You can see the float. You can see float ride. It's boost like, very boost like. You can see the gapping in the Zig Tech where some of that flexibility comes from, but it's being held together by a true rubber outsole front to back. If you're looking for a trainer to get you through a great workout in the gym, straight down the middle, 
nothing too fancy all the latest tech stable you know it, it, this is a great shoe it's a great shoe now here's the thing i told you i got this at the outlet this shoe originally retails 130 to 150 i got it on sale for 65 yeah under 70 including tax that's wild for a shoe like this that's wild um, took it immediately to the gym last night. Perfect for a gym workout. Got a little jog in, got a little bike in, got a little lift in, some plyos, some jump rope. It works. It just works. Sometimes the shoe doesn't need to be overly fancy to get the job done. The float zig, putting the two together, float ride and zig tech is good stuff, guys. It's really good. So if you can get to a Reebok outlet and find one, it's great. Ladies, get the white one. So good. Fellas, black might be the only one we got with the triple black. Or if you've got small enough feet, get the white one. It's phenomenal. Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. Might have a few more things before the holidays, but if I don't see you, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all the things, Festivus for the rest of us. And I appreciate you. I'm going to have some merch up here in a couple of weeks. And then, uh, yeah. Keep coming back through. Peace.